ओके सो दिस इज एन इम्पॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन आर दैट हाउ टू डिफ्रेंशिएट बिटवीन साइलेंट चेस्ट एंड न्यूमोथोरेक्स इन केस ऑफ अक्यूट एक्सर्वेशन ऑफ अस्थमा और अस्थमेटिक अटैक सो अंडरस्टैंड दैट बोथ आर कंडीशन लाइफ थ्रेटनिंग कंडीशन इन साइलेंट चेस्ट बिकॉज देर इज नो एयर फ्लो फ्रॉम द इन दंग एयर वे बिकॉज ऑफ सीवियर ब्रॉन्कोसपाजम एंड ब्रॉन्को कंस्ट्रिक्शन लाइक दैट देर इज द चेस्ट इज साइलेंट एंड इन द न्यूमोथोरेक्स बिकॉज देर इज अ leak uh, in between the visceral and parietal pleura uh, so that's why because of that uh, uh, that the uh, chest is silent you will not hear the breath sounds because the parenchyma or lung area are shifted in the opposite direction now how to differentiate this usually uh, silent chest uh, will be bilateral Uh, pneumothorax will be unilateral so you will get uh, silent uh, means decreased breath sounds on one side in pneumothorax very rare to have bilateral pneumothorax so usually on the on one side you will get the decreased breath sound uh, while in silent chest in uh, asthma you it will have it will be a bilateral finding also in pneumothorax the, the chest with where there is a pneumothorax the chest will move uh, the chest movement will be decreased while um, again it will be bilateral phenomena in uh, in the silent chest thirdly because in pneumothorax because the air in the visceral parietal pleura pushes the lung towards the opposite direction so you may find there is a tracheal deviation to the opposite side but it is it is in the severe cases so a uh, unilateral thing uh, uh, uh unilateral thing decrease movement on one side division or trachea these are the things by which you can get an idea but other than all other findings acute onset hemodynamic instability these are other things are more or less common in both so you should get an x ray chest done uh, in in asthma or in attacks acute exacerbation usually uh, usually it is easily available so x ray is required to do or pocus point of care ultrasound can also help but these are just the few factors but again very important question because you should always consider a diagnosis of or differential diagnosis of pneumothorax whenever acute exacerbation of asthma occurs other than the severe bronchospasm so thank you for asking do read more about it